Welcome to the Fit Rich Show, gentlemen. Uh, so today's episode, another quick rapid fire one that's going to really help you put things in perspective. Um, and this is something that I actually used to fail with myself and yeah, massively, massively failed. So today I'm going to talk about three foods, I might chuck in a few bonuses as well, three foods to watch out for that are easy consumed and you probably think they're healthy, but they're literally wrecking your waistline, okay? It's easily done. Again, I've been guilty of these, but um, you know, let's dive into it, guys. Hope you're all well anyway. Welcome to the Fit Rich Podcast Show, where fit is the new rich. With me, your host, Robert Sharp. By listening to this podcast, you will learn how to massively increase productivity, efficiency in day-to-day life, how to reach your full potential, how to level up and raise your standards. I'll be sharing with you real life lessons on failures and successes I've experienced over the last 15 years in the fitness industry while treating you to some guests who are dominating in their field. So train sharp, transform faster, let's begin. Back when I first started sort of training, um, was you know massively getting into fitness, you know, obsessed by going to the gym and you know eating well. Um, I was playing a lot of football at the time, so you know nutrition was you know, it's quite fascinating to me. Um, So I used to massively overeat these sort of three things I'm just about to talk to you about now. Um, And it was quite easily done because, you know, they're deemed to be healthy, which they are, which they are healthy. However, they're very easily overconsumed and you'd be quite surprised by how much. So let's sort of get into these three things. So number one would be nuts. So nuts are very healthy. They're good in healthy fats. They're great. Honestly, they're, they're, they're fantastic nuts. They're pretty, pretty powerful, right? But they're extremely easy, easily overconsumed. So I used to sit at like break time, lunch time, whatever, and I would sit there and eat a whole bag of nuts, thinking, yeah, these are fantastic. Good, healthy fats. You know, wonderful. I'm just going to hammer a whole bag of these. So. What I didn't sort of realise that that whole bag probably had about a thousand calories in, right? And then you don't, then you wonder why am I not sort of, why am I sort of not getting lean or getting in the shape that I should be in? Because you don't realise, you know. Um, so nuts are very easily overconsumed, and there's pretty much nine calories per one gram of fat, whereas protein and carbs, there's only four calories per one gram. So it's double, more than double, right? And as you can imagine, once you start munching these, they're nice and the calories, uh, they do start topping up. So yeah, beware of that one, guys. Portion control. Uh, number two, number two would be orange juice, okay? Now, I used to, again, I used to sit there and drink like a carton of orange juice thinking, yeah, this is great. It's got lots of vitamin C and it's great for the body, but you know, if you're going to sit and drink a whole carton of orange juice, you just as well have a, a full fat diet Coke because it's pretty much the same sugar content. However, yes, I know orange is good in vitamin C, but most of the stuff you get anyway, it's going to be cut with loads of crap. So it's honestly just like drinking sugar. Even if it is fresh, it's still good. But again, in moderation, because you can over drink and over consume these things and they are high in sugar. Well, fructose, fruit is fructose. Yeah, is a little bit better than sugar, but it's still going to pile on the calories. It's easily done, and you probably think it's really healthy, so you'll do it every day. Um, sometimes guys are drinking like two, three cups just a day, and this is where the calories are going, and this adds up after a week. All right, it's like a full meal. Okay, you've got our nuts, then you've sort of got orange, okay, and then you've got you've got different meats, different proteins. Okay, again, I know meat is meat, you think, yeah, just eat meat. But for example, if you're gonna eat a bit of chicken, it's totally different to eating a bit of lamb, a bit of duck, or even a bit of salmon. It's actually double the calories. So if you're having lamb, like the lamb skewers, and then a bit of salmon, then a steak, your fat content is going through the roof. Yeah, so you have to be wary of the different kinds of proteins you eat. If I'm going to have a steak one day, I probably won't have a salmon that same day because it's the same fat. If I have salmon, again, I won't, I won't have steak. I'll have some chicken or white meat or a lean piece of fish or some eggs. So meat can actually be very, very calorific. Now, if you're going out to dinner and you're going to have a nice ribeye or 
you know, a bit of lamb or a bit of duck. As you can imagine, these the people cooking this, they're absolutely, you know, varnishing it in, in butter and oil. Um, and it's not always good oil, it's probably um, seed oils. Seed oil is the, is the worst thing you can have. Um, it's really, really bad for you. So that's why when you're eating out a lot, you don't seem to sort of shift as much weight as possible. You're not getting lean, you're not dropping weight. So again, all three of those are very, very easy to over consume because they're all enjoyable. They're all great for you. But if you do over consume them, you can be in a little bit of trouble. Um, and a lot of people think it's healthy, so they eat a limited amount. Guys will sort of say, yeah, only, only sort of at meat. How can, you know, how can it be possible? I'm putting all these calories away because you know the, the, the fat content in steak well fillet and tenderloin is great it's not really much fat in that but when you start going down the ribeye um, and the fattier cuts of meat and you're eating all that out then yeah it does add up especially when you start getting stuck into like the lamb and stuff yeah so just a bit of food for thought guys hope that helps um, do us a favor drop me a comment wherever you're listening to this if it's on iTunes Spotify um, even the website really appreciate if you hit the uh, subscribe button drop a comment drop a review and again I'll be massively massively over appreciated for that that'd be great alright guys hope it helps drop me a message on Instagram at Rob J Sharp message me the word podcast so I know where you come from ask me anything regarding this or anything you want I personally answer all my uh, DMs so yeah look forward to chatting to you reach out and um, have a good rest of the week guys